Good morning, everyone. We are at Bell Cow Lake in Chandler, Oklahoma. We found us a little RV site so we could, mostly because of the trees. We did hammock camping, as you can see here. Dawn's still semi asleep. Uh, we had some noisy neighbors last night, so we didn't get to sleep till late. There's my tent, my hammock, I mean, underneath here. I actually slept fairly decent. My sleeping bag, my hammock, I had a little polo in there. Of course, there's Donald. And here's kind of a quick overview. There's a lake behind us. We came on the motorcycle. We'll be eating breakfast soon and heading into Stroud. Uh, we're participating in a special event called Route 66 on the Air with our amateur radio club. So that was our first main intent of this trip. I and mean, this was our second point. But here is... Parts of the lake. It's a little foggy right now. Got kind of cool last night in the 50s. It's going to be in the 80s today. So it'll be nice. There's a kind of view of the lake a little bit. Pretty good size lake. See the fog rolling off the lake. Okay, maybe this is the entrance to this area here. Of course, the restrooms and showers. And then our campsite. So, alright, there's your quick tour. And we'll see you again later. Good morning, everybody. Uh, so, we're going to make a breakfast for the wife and I. We've got a Coleman uh, blended fuel canister here for our jet boil. Jet boil, everything I mentioned, I'm going to uh, put a link in the description below for where you can get it. Uh, the jet boil is very nice. Uh, with a jet boil, literally, you can boil water in two minutes. Uh, and the meals that we eat, that we're eating, they're Mountain House meals. Uh, they're by Mountain House Adventures. Uh, look right here. Boom. Breakfast skillet. That's what I'm having. Uh, Leah likes her uh, chicken and dumplings. She only likes chicken and dumplings. Don't ask me why, but she only really likes that. So the jet boil screws onto the uh, blended fuel canister right here. So, once you got that on, take some water, put in your jet boil can here. How much water do we need? I'm gonna go ahead and make Leah's first. She needs 11 fluid ounces or 325 milliliters. So, I'm gonna fill this up to 325 milliliters. It is graduated. It does have uh, markings inside of it that you can see uh, exactly where the uh, water level is at, uh, both in milliliters and in uh, ounces. So I'm going to use just this uh, flint and blade here. I think we purchased this at Walmart. Turn on the gas, and then. All right, so timer mark. I have some windproof matches here. I bought this at Walmart also. It just has 
storm matches inside of it. Basically very long matches and stuff like that. So I have that just in case I can't get the front to work. So with the Mountain House Mills, um, basically it's a dehydrated mill. I mean, it's a regular mill just like you uh, would cook at home, okay? And then they freeze dry it or dehydrate. Excuse me. The Mountain House Mills, let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, there's also going to be a link in the description below where you can get some. Uh, basically, you just add water. Uh, this is a mill just like uh, you would cook at your own home, something like that. It's just, it's been dehydrated or freeze dried. Um, you just add uh, the amount of water that it's needed and stir it up a little bit and wait about 10 minutes and then it's ready to eat. So this boils really fast. You can already see steam is coming off of it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this pouch. And it does have an oxygen absorber inside of it, so you want to remove that. Open it up. Water is already, the water is already start, uh, it's about to boil right now. It's steaming off right now. About to start boiling. Um, so let me talk to you about this uh, uh, utensil set. This is made by Gerber, not the baby food company, but the knife company. So you know it's a really good brand. Uh, it comes with um, a vegetable pillar, can opener, uh, bottle opener. All right, hang on. We're boiling. There's a roaring, roaring boil. Right, you know, just add that water to there. There we go. And we give it a stir. Gotta get the corners, the corners especially, because that's where some of the uh, dehydrated food kind of cakes at a little bit. All right, so now set another timer. Uh, and it says we need to uh, wait five minutes and stir it again. So zip it, close, wait five minutes, stir it again. Um, anyhow, back to the utensils. Um, uh, the Gerber complete set it comes with a spoon, a spork, uh, and um, uh, a spatula slash. Um, Oh no, uh, a soft spatula and a, like a serrated spatula. Link is in the description below where you can get that. Uh, I've, uh, I've been very happy for it and it packs down really nice. Like so. Um, one other thing to be aware of, you don't want to leave this on the burner when the burner is hot and there's nothing in it. Um, that it would be bad. Alright, let's see here. My meal. I need... 10 fluid ounces or 296 milliliters. Now I'm using bottled water. Uh, we we have a water filter system that we could use and there is tap water available. Let's hear this. Me. Uh, it's by, it's called the Grail, as in like the Holy Grail Geopress. Uh, again, link is in the description below. Uh, basically, you take this outer container off, fill it full of water, and then you press down the water filter into the water. Since we got bottled water here, uh, there's not really a need for us to use it at the moment. Uh, but sometimes uh, uh, we will filter uh, like the plumbing water here or something like that because well you know it is hard water uh, and uh, uh, it just helps remove any taste of uh, off tasting stuff
skin. Got... I like what I found on Donald's straps for his hammock. It's a exoskeleton shell of a cicada. Obviously, it was last night because we were only here one night. So, take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that your friend? No. <laughs> 